our new remote with your friends. That's a pretty good idea. I hope Weird Al is taking notes. For more info, go to edubilly.com slash Jennifer. $52 to fill up a tank. Fill up the tank. Things are getting out of hand. But if you want to know what the experience is of owning a 2023, even a 2022, 24 Hyundai Santa Cruz, stay tuned. I'm going to go over uh, ownership cost, maintenance cost, and the whole total experience of owning this car. So please stay tuned, watch the whole video, and let's get going. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we got a quick video on my 2023 Hyundai Santa Cruz. Now I've had this vehicle now for almost a year. And the reason I'm making this video is going to be a 25,000 mile update. So in a year I put 25,000 miles on this car. I've used it every day to go to work. My work commute is around 30 minutes. And that is going there and coming back. So that'll be an hour worth of drive time. Um, so I, I put quite a few miles on this car and I want to go over a couple of things at a 25,000 mile update. I went and got the oil change and Hyundai does this thing where like they send you like required maintenance or recommended maintenance. Um, I'm pretty sure all the other car companies or dealerships do the same thing. But this is what was kind of funny to me was they recommended alignment which is fine but alignment was like a hundred and forty dollars or something like that and then they recommended wiper blade replacement and the wiper blades were eighty nine dollars to replace so wondering like you could replace your own wipers for less than that that was uh, $89 and I was like, I'm not paying for that. That is, That sounds dumb, like something I could change, like changing your cabin filter or your engine filter or your own oil change. But if they're going to do it for free, why should I do it? Um, but maintenance wise, that's it. That's been it. Um, yesterday I had a nail go into one of my tires and I had to get that replay, uh, repaired. That was around $32 for a patch and that's about it with maintenance i haven't really done mo much maintenance or required maintenance for this car um one thing that i would mention is uh the tires like they said that they were uh the alignment was off and he was wearing so around twenty-five thousand miles my old crv the tires were already showing their age and they were uh wearing out super fast this car however that, that is not happening you can just see uneven wear which i do have to get that alignment done uh but yeah and then gas so gas this car i put around forty dollars um every week around there maybe twice depends on how much i drive so i've been spending around sixty to seventy dollars a week on this car on gas so I've been averaging average let me see where it is it says 25 miles per gallon so that's about it I like the assisted uh, handle or uh, the assisted steering wheel thing you know where it keeps you in between the lane on the on the road I like that but one of the things that I found with this car is that um, after using it for a while the motor starts to make a weird noise and I don't know what's all that about, but regardless, you can't barely hear it, but I could hear it because I have like super good hearing, I guess. Um, but yeah, we do have, I don't know if you can see it right there on the camera. It, we have the 25,000 miles already. So, you know, lots of use, lots of, uh, time behind the wheel so I haven't really cleaned this car like within a week like interior wise so you could see like all the dust and stuff on the dash 
but um, that's nothing. I think all the cars have that kind of thing with, with this center console with the big screen. They get all dirty, full of, di of dust. So let's talk about things that I do miss on my old cars. I don't miss having a a uh, moonroof or a panoramic moonroof, uh, but I do miss having the dual climate zone, and that's something that you don't get you don't get on the base model. On the base models, uh, you just get one zone, and you don't even get rear vents. So your your passengers in the back don't get rear vents. Um, it's kind of a thing because I have a daughter. She sits in the back and sometimes we have to put the vents slightly up and to the center so that air goes to the back. I do miss the uh, lane, not the lane, but the uh, the pace keeping, that radar that they put on the front of the cars that keeps the uh, distance between the car in front of you. I do miss it, but it's something that I could live without. Uh, it's just something that I convenience, you know, like you just turn on your cruise control, your car basically drives for you. Is uh, it's been I've considered going up a trim, but I just every time I just think about payments and going up on payments again, I just think it's kind of ridiculous to do so for just slight convenience. Um, another convenience that I really do miss is having that self dimming uh, rear view mirror. My uh, Toyota Camry, my my Solera has it. Um, and it's something really convenient, especially when people are driving around with like aftermarket LED headlights that are blinding you uh, left and right, or driving around with their high beams on because they are having one of their lights is burnt out, so they just turn their high beams thinking that, oh, well, you know, now I have all my headlights working, uh, but they're blinding everybody on the road. The looks, um, I've gotten a lot of compliments with this car. I've gotten a lot of interested people talking about it, and I've also gotten a lot of polarizing uh, comments. For example, yesterday when I went to get the tire changed, uh, one of the guys said, oh man, this car is driving me nuts, and I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, well, when I look at it from the front, it looks like a car, when I look at it on the side, it looks like an SUV, and then when I look at it from the back, it's a, it's a truck. And basically, he wasn't making fun of the car. He was just like explaining why he kind of gets uh, weirded out by the, by the car. And he asked me like, "Did I? Is, is it a good car?" And I was like, "Well, uh, once you have it, uh, you know, you really don't know what to do without it." So that's basically how I I, I explain this car to people. It's small, but fits a, a family of three and a dog. It's uh, It has the power you need unless you're trying to tow a huge boat or something big that is more than 5,000 pounds or 3,500 pounds. It's quiet on the road as much as it could be for a, a small truck. The ride, the comfort is really good. I mean, there's nothing out of this world, but it's good. It is a Hyundai, so there's plastic everywhere. You know, nothing really fancy, but it gets the job done and that's what's important. Last thing, last thing is the engine noise. And right now you don't hear it because I got the windows up. Uh, but yesterday, some, it was funny, I, I drove by a, a, a group of, uh, of guys that were on the, on the sidewalk and I drove by and I like hit the gas and one of them says, oh, he, look, hear that engine roar. And I thought it was funny because you can't hear the engine, you know, but it's not a big engine, so you don't hear much of, of anything. But it, it, to me, it reminds me of like old cars when their lifters are going bad. Um, I've mentioned it to Hyundai and they, they just say that that's how that engine sounds. So we'll see, you know, it, the car is still under warranty. There's still warranty on this vehicle. And I also have lifetime warranty with the dealership. So. You know, I'm, I'm keeping up with the maintenance, so if anything happens, hopefully, knock on car again, it's covered under warranty. And that's the last thing. Um, anything else you guys want to hear, anything else you guys want to get cleared up on this car, uh, please leave a comment on the comment section. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, one thing, you see everybody that drives by me, uh, I've noticed that they just, they just look at the car 
and either they, they give you like a like a face of what the hell or they give you a face of like oh that's cool and and especially the kids like eight nine ten year olds thirteen year olds they're like oh wow is that an electric car and I'm like nah dude <laughs> it's not electric so anyways <clears throat> Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I know I've been doing a lot of fragrance videos lately. Um, that is because that is the trend of the channel right now, Mr. Jack of all trades. I do lots of every, a lot of everything, a little bit of everything. So um, today I got uh, Club de Nuit Precious One that I'm gonna test out. I got it in my bag and. Uh, uh, we'll see then. I'll give you a video on that too. But uh, again, thanks for watching and see you guys on the next video.